YouTube, back with another video with the Booski. But what I'm doing, I'm installing my fuel cell, which is going under the car. Yeah, I probably ain't never, I done seen people do it, not many, but we're going under the car with the fuel cell. I already got the bolt holes drilled out for the scraps. And now this whole square from here, I'm about to cut it out. And then I'm gonna make another piece of metal to go in it to make a to make a door type thing. So let me flip the camera. So then we able to get to the hole to put the gas in it, and then my sending unit. Which by sending unit I mean just a fuel level sending unit, y'all. Cause y'all know certain sending units go right there, but just a fuel level is what I need. So some people may not agree with going under the car, but we're going under the car because I want my trunk space, but I want the look of a fuel cell, y'all know. The lines and everything. I just think they look pretty good. But yeah, I'm gonna fade back to y'all with me cutting all this out. And then I'm gonna make a piece to sit on this lip. But y'all gonna see my vision. Just, just give it time. out of the because I can't really record under the car really good I ain't got nothing that low so I'm gonna fade back all right y'all got it cut out now I'm probably gonna put the fuel tank on there but we'll get a piece of metal and make it into this shape. And it's gonna look real nice after it's done. Cause it's not perfect, I'm not gonna lie y'all. It got a little funky down here, but it is what it is. You ain't gonna see me like that. But yeah, I'm gonna fade back to when I guess I got the fuel tank in. We'll see how that go. See, pops Man. came. I had to check my workout. I'm not. I mean, I'm in doing a paint job, cuz doing yeah. a paint job. So yeah, y'all, I got it. I got it in there. That one got the perfect size hole. That's a breathing hole event. But this one, I'm gonna probably have to spread it out a little more. I'm gonna do it with the Dremel, so I ain't gonna cut my tank, y'all. No, I ain't gonna cut my tank. But I'm gonna have to spread that hole out a little bit, probably. And then, then what it look like. I see the scraps I'm holding it. Look pretty mean, if you ask me. You know, that's what you see from behind. Like it. Nice work. Nice work. Hey. Say what they call y'all, I'm just trying to do some different things. Stuff I've been, I've been wanting already. So I said, this car ain't got a fuel tank, so I'm gonna get a fuel cell, you know? Hey. I ain't got a fuel tank, so I gotta get some to back to the hold the fuel. Yeah. And then it got a sump in it already, so we're good on that. I don't know how long this video will be, but I might put the running the fuel line in it too, so we're gonna see y'all. We're gonna fade back. The next day. All right, y'all, this is how the door came out. As y'all can see, that line is gonna go back through the trunk. And then, then you got where you put your fuel in and then where the sending unit go. And then, you know, once you do that, close that down. I'm gonna put some prior little weather stripping under that. <coughs> and then uh, I'll just gonna have carpet on it one day, so. It's gonna look nice when I'm done. Oh yeah, 
I already look a whole lot better like that. Now, get y'all some hinges, you know, Home Depot. And parts came in. We got the filter that go before the pump, fittings, line, and another thing of the same stuff. All oh, this is about 40 feet of line. Probably a little too much, but it's better to have more than less. And then we got this pump. I mean, not pump, filter. And I got another one that go after the pump. So, I'm gonna get back with y'all when I'm doing that little bit. But yeah, that's what we got going on right now. All right, y'all, we're gonna be mounting the fuel pump. Where that hole at? I'm gonna put another hole over here, but then that put the fuel pump like right here, level with the tank. I don't want it above the tank, because y'all know. Well, I don't know if everybody agree with it, but it's better for it, in my opinion, to be a little below the tank for this. Can pull it to its maximum efficiency, I think. That's what I read up on, too. And I just think that's better. But yeah, it's going to be like, like right there. Then I got the 90 degree. And that's going to shoot all the way up to the front. And then my big filter. I'll go just like that. That's what we working with. The drill battery ain't charged, so take a break. Go get me some noodles, y'all know. Beef, beef flavor, just so y'all know. But yeah, once I get done with that, my little break, I'm gonna come back and get back on mounting this stuff up. And then, right now, this is probably the end of this video though. Just mounting the fuel cell, and then I'll bring y'all another video of running the fuel system so just to end this video y'all expect another video soon because it's going to be happening throughout the week and then i'm probably painting a little bit on the frame because y'all see i did a little bit i painted that a little bit up in there so trying to get it looking real good painted the frame much y'all see it got a little fresh black coat on it but yeah, y'all, so this is the end of this YouTube video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Just so look ugly, and we out of here.